Hey everyone, CPO here, and I apologize, this video is intense, very, very data heavy. I am gonna give you the conclusion up front though. So if you don't wanna see the data, you don't wanna see what causes me to come to this conclusion, you can just get the information and go about your day. Here is the rundown. In the EV6 GT, when you press that button to enable maximum power output mode, I wanted to know what it was looking for in order to establish that it's in that mode and giving you maximum power output. So I figured that out and what it's looking for is the lowest temperature of any of your battery packs to be at least 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Up until that point, you get incremental increases in power and I'll show you that in a graph later on. And then when you reach that point where all of your battery packs are at least 86 degrees Fahrenheit, in my car, I get maximum power output of 481 kilowatts. That is 50 more than I was expecting. So I don't know what's going on there, but that's the rundown. Now, here is the data that I used to determine that information. Uh, as you can see here, right off the rip, we're looking at an Excel spreadsheet with a bunch of parameters. So let me explain what I have going on here. This is a raw data log from my 2024 EV6 GT. I uh, use the OBD2 port with an OBD2 scanner and the car scanner app and then I exported all of the data so that I could take a look at it. The reason I did that is because I wanted to try and figure out exactly what is going on when you press the button that says, optimize battery for maximum power output mode. Like, I know that it does something, we all assume it has to do with battery temperature, uh, either raising or lowering it, I wanted to go to the data and figure out exactly what it was looking for in order to identify that it's optimized. That will help me figure out what I need to do to get optimized quicker, or in cases where it doesn't seem like it's optimizing, what I would do. So there is a lot of data in here, like not gonna lie, a bunch of stuff. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is just filter out uh, the stuff I just want the stuff related to the battery management system. And so that was where I started. And, you know, right away we can start to see some battery pack temperatures, battery minimum temperature, right? So somewhere in there is a battery pack that's at 80.6 degrees. And it, like, there's a lot of data here. Um, well, there it is right there. Boom, 80.6, no, that's battery minimum. Yeah, battery pack B09 is the lowest. All right, so I started looking at, oh, here's one too, B11 is also there, B15 is also there. So ambient temperature in Florida, in, in Tampa where I'm at right now, is about 85 to 87 degrees outside. I was in the garage, which is historically, typically, quite a bit lower in temperature. So you can see here, as I start my drive around, I'm in the low 80s for battery pack temperatures. And we can really look at battery min and battery max temperature uh, if we're gonna look at temperatures, because it'll tell us the story of, of the cumulative uh, temperatures. We can also look at battery heater temperature, right? So that is the temperature of the heater that's going to warm the batteries when I press that button. And the other thing we can look at is available discharge power. This is how much power is available to us. Here's where I'm confused because I thought 430 kilowatts was the maximum available discharge power for this car. I remember seeing that stat somewhere when I did some data logging uh, just looking at, at uh, recording the screen on my car, it was showing 430 uh, kilowatt hours as, as output. But what I'm seeing here is at the start, we are at 437. 
So let's start with this number here, available discharge power. Because what I'll show you is, uh, and I've seen this before, um, Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to do this off screen so that we can, uh, you know, look at the results of there. I'm going to go very to the bottom. The very bottom, when I turn this thing off, after it reached optimized mode, we're at 481 kilowatts of power. That is 50 kilowatts more than I was expecting and 50 kilowatts more than we started with, right? So if we go up the chain... And I start looking, 481, 481, 481. So we're at maximum power. At some point here, we're going to be at less than maximum power. I don't know where that number is. Oh, there we go. Um, so 481. If we go back one more, we're at 480.67. So it's moving to the maximum available discharge power right here, right? So this is like the timestamp. This is the metric, 481 kilowatt power. I've got another highlight here. I'll explain that. But what I found is 86 degrees is what it's looking for for all of the battery packs to get to, right? So. We know that I hit maximum discharge power here. Um, so at this point, everything should be where it considers it to be optimized. And when I go look at where we're at right before we hit optimized, battery min temperature is 86, right? So 86 degrees. I believe is what it's looking for to optimize. And the reason I say that is because if we go back prior, let me let me go to um, specifically search for battery min temperature. All right. 86, 86, 86, 86. 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86. Bear with me, y'all. I apologize. 84.2. Oh, there it is. All right. This is 84.2 as the minimum battery temperature. All right. I'm going to make this uh, orange because it's not quite there yet. But if we go to the very next one, when it's 86, we'll make this yellow. We want to see if that's when our maximum output goes up. Uh, which is... Available discharge power. So 468, and then of course, we quickly, like these, this is a lot of data that's being pulled. This is multiple data points per second. Um, it's really hard to do this. Let me, let me filter on, on a couple things here. Let me filter on available discharge power. So we can, oops. sorry, I moved that out of the way a little bit. Let's clear the filter. So we're going to, we're going to see, um, available discharge power. We want to see those things, or we want to see minimum uh, I want to see the temperature. Uh, it's battery min 
temperature. All right, so now we can do some analysis here. All right, so you see it goes from 84 to 86. Look before that. Our available discharge power is holding at 466.57 for quite a while. So what I did find is this, this goes in steps, and I'll show you some charts here to show you how it steps through this process. It's an incremental process. So based on its parameters, like I'm guessing if you're above 84 degrees as the lowest cell, battery cell temperature, then you get 466 kilowatts. Uh, if we go back up where it's 82 degrees, right here, you get 452 kilowatts. So it's looking at the lowest temperature cell and then deciding how much available power it's going to give you. All right, so we started out, the lowest one was in the 80s. I only had 437 kilowatts of power. Lowest cell gets down or gets up to 82 and we get 452. Then we go to the lowest cell being 84, we get 462, 66, there we go, it's up to 66. Then, when we hit that magic number of 86, it starts to climb until we hit our maximum discharge power of 481. That's when the display acknowledges that you have been optimized and you have maximum power, right? That is super cool. So what it's looking for is all of the cells uh, in, the, in the main uh, high voltage battery to be at least 86 degrees Fahrenheit, all right? So then what we can do is try and figure out how that looked with the cells. Let me go back and clear this filter. Again, I warned you, this was gonna be lots of data. Um, so let's do um, contains BMS again. And what I wanna do is look for battery pack. BMS, so battery pack. Oop, helps if I can spell. Battery pack. So now we can see the battery pack temperatures, right? So we see 86. Um, where is the first time? 84.2. So battery pack 09, B09 is, looks like the last one to hold out before it goes to 86. So let's just look at B09. Uh, oops, let's go back up to the top here. B09. So yeah, B09 was it probably it was probably our 80. Yeah, it was an 80 early on. Got to 82. Got to 84. Hits 86 right at the last point, and then we get our um, optimized high power output mode. All right, so anyway, that's interesting to me. <laughs> Hopefully it is to you as well. So the other thing that we could look at, which I think is kind of cool, let's go back to this one and say contains heater. battery heater temperature. So this, before we start, the battery heater is basically low ambient temperature, garage temperature. And then when we press the button to optimize, that heater starts to heat up and you see the temperature rising, which in turn is what's heating the various battery cells. And it gets up to 120 and kind of hangs around the 120, 122 mark until it gets optimized. And then eventually, I believe it shuts down. 
So, all right, so I'm on my phone now and I'm showing you basically the in, uh, in phone uh, view of this, right? So here's a direct relationship between the minimum battery temperature, the lowest cell temperature, and maximum power output mode. And as you can see here, it doesn't hit maximum power output mode until that last cell gets above 86 degrees. So we can go through and look at uh, all the different battery packs. And 17, 18. Let's do one chart. So you can see all the different battery packs. This is a little, little bit tougher of a view. Yeah, screw that, that's a dumb view. It doesn't really help, uh, it's too much. But we do know that battery pack 09 was the holdout from the analysis on the computer. So we'll show you that one. Uh, I'll leave minimum temperature up there. Yeah, so uh, 09 is blue, minimum temperature is green, and of course max power is still red. And you can see like it's basically mirroring that B09 battery pack. Uh, the other thing that might be interesting to see is the, um, the heater temperature. So we'll do heater temperature and we will do battery pack 09 and maximum output power. So there's our heater. Uh, let's get rid of maximum output power. Where was that? There it is. So you can see the heater comes on and then that's when these uh, cells start to slowly heat up. My takeaway from this is that if you want to Optimize your batteries for maximum power output, available discharge power as it's called in here, then you need to get those cells heated up. I think the issue is that those of you who live in colder climates have a long way to go to get to that minimum cell temperature. Like I was already at 86 degrees outside and it took a while to get to 86 degrees in my battery temperature. So imagine if it's 40 or 50 or 20 degrees outside, you may never hit it. So I think this is why people are not seeing this ever happen. So that's my analysis. I warned you it was gonna be a lot of data. What do you think? Give me some comments. Please share your ideas and thoughts. Love to hear it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.